Women love money. Women love money. Okay. Women will move, leave a man they love for no. a man with money. Hundo. Not, no, that's no. not true. That's but I, I, I never hear a man say, oh, her bag's brilliant. Oh, look Facts. at her bag. A uh, hair girl says he's got a nice watch, she's got a nice car, he's got a nice this, he's got a nice that. That is because they love money. A man don't care what car you drive. Facts. Facts. You know, mm. a man that's that's you. That's, that's, that's an interesting point, actually. I've never thought about that. That's that is not okay. That's man don't care what handbag you come. You can come with a promo handbag. You can, you can care. That, 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 it, depends, you. Like, it depends what position okay. the man's in, though, because yeah, let yeah, me tell you, if the man's getting the bus, he cares that you've got a car. Like, he yeah, that's because he wants to use it. If you haven't, he don't care, though. But if you're both on the bus, if you're both on the bus, she is trying to upgrade her Oyster card to a passenger seat. Hundo, before she even gets a driving test. Big facts. I'm telling you. He hit the nail right on the head. Men don't care about what luxury brands you wear. In fact, they probably prefer that you don't wear any luxury brands. Because if I see a woman walk in with a $5,000 purse, my first thought is who bought it for her and how did she get it? Because I don't know very many 23-year-old women that can afford a $5,000 purse. Men only buy status symbols because they know women care about status symbols. For most men, all they need is a pillow, a blanket, a TV, and a video game, and they'll be happy. You got women that are getting the attention of multi-million dollar men by wearing a $15 fashion over wrestling costume women are willing to spend absorbent amounts of money on status symbols mostly to impress other women because it shows dominance in the female hierarchy it shows either one i'm such a boss bay i can afford this for myself or two i'm such a good woman some man invests this much in me women do all kinds of weird things to impress other women this whole i don't cook i don't clean culture is just to impress other women it's to say i'm such an important woman that this man is willing to give me all of his value without me reciprocating any value to him no man cares about what kind of brands you wear or how much money you make. And if he does, he's probably waiting for your tax refund. About being married, I don't know how it's come down to this. I don't know why my husband has gotten so spoiled um, about me doing literally fucking everything. He works. He's in the army. Yeah, whatever. I'm a stay-at-home mom. But I literally take care of everything in this house. There's not one fucking thing that this man takes care of. He takes care of you. That's what he takes care of. He takes care of you. He takes care of y'all's kid. He takes care of business when he's at work. That's what he takes care of. He barely takes out the goddamn trash when I ask him to. So after a weekend of doing absolutely f yesterday and last night, I did a courteous reminder. I said, hey, did you remember to put your clothes in a dryer? He ignored me. I said it again later on that night. Hey, did you throw your clothes in the dryer? He ignored me. And then this morning at around... 6.30 in the morning oh, when my baby yeah. woke me up. I said, hey, did you remember to put your clothes in the dryer? And he says, I don't know. I don't know. And I said, what the fuck do you mean you don't know? Did you throw it in the dryer or not? And he said, oh, I started it, but I don't know if it dried. I came over to the laundry room and the clothes was still in the fucking washer. So you know what I did the majority of Mother's Day? I contemplated, why the fuck? Am I still married? Why? Why am I still married? To take care of another man oh. like he's a fucking toddler? Because I already oh. have a toddler. I don't need a fucking grown-ass toddler. Why am I still married? I don't know very many toddlers that can provide financial stability for an entire family. And this is one of the biggest problems with social media. You have these middle-aged women going to these echo chambers, complaining about their marital problems while their husbands are busy taking care of business. When you complain about your husband or wife on social media, number one, you're talking to the most bitter people on the planet. But number two, they only know the context that you give them. They don't know about the intimate small details that matter. They don't know about the time he had to drive to pick you up at 3 a.m. because you were puking on yourself at the club. They don't know about the time your sibling got into a car accident, so he had to drive you all the way to Montana so you could be by their bedside. They don't know about those details. Before social media, the only people you could talk to about your marital issues were people that had a vested interest in your life. Your parents, his parents, maybe a therapist, heck, maybe even a pastor. People that not only knew the bad things, but also the good things and that could give you a better perspective. Now all you have is a bunch of 40-year-old married women online listening to a bunch of 40-year-old single women online complain about how they deserve better always remember when you expose your marital issues online it never goes away i know most of you know me from the laundry drama with my husband and i know some of you're all probably wondering why i took down videos all of us women can relate to it right well the men got very offended oh 
Here you go. I'm very offended. Now she's trying to make it a gender thing so she can rally up the women. Men aren't mad because you're a woman. Men are mad because you're an asshole. This man is going out to work for eight hours a day so he can provide for his family, and you're complaining about pressing start on a laundry machine. But I don't think she understands how many women would love to have her job. Heck, I don't think she understands how many men would love to have her job. My husband started getting blown up on his social media from these random men that found him which are private. TikTok is my only public one. They went snooping and found him and messaged him and showed him the videos, yes, which he sir. had no idea about. City boys. So I had already been planning on telling my husband about the videos anyways. I just wanted to wait a little while longer oh, yeah, I'm sure. for the right time. And well, that ship sailed when these really offended little guys got offended over my rant and took it upon themselves to message him. So since my husband likes to stay very, very private, um, I thought it was just, um, how do I say? I guess kind of like an invasion of privacy, you know, with him being military, he likes to keep his stuff private. If you're honestly concerned about him having privacy because he's in the military, then why were you sharing all of his secrets with the world? Messaging and messaging him, blowing up his phone. He doesn't have the time for that. Um, he already gets blown up at work all day long with phone calls and stuff and he just doesn't have the time for that so i just decided to take it down it was just too much stress for the both of us so and the little boys out there you thought you were gonna take me down oh. you didn't your girl's still here oh. somebody all just took it to a whole nother level man like my husband pisses me the fuck off and I piss him the fuck off too. That's marriage, yo. I came on here to vent about it because I was just in raging anger. It's actually pretty good that she got rid of the videos because it was never really a get rid of her thing. It was more like a you should be grateful thing. But although she said they couldn't get her out of there, she came to some kind of conclusion because she sure did delete the videos. I bet she took a second to think about it and realized, well, that wasn't very well thought out because sure, you can divorce this guy, but then what? You still got to do laundry, but now you got to work eight hours a day and probably take care of your kid because women get custody majority of the time. For those that don't know, this was a four-part series and in one of the videos, she talked about divorcing her husband and i'm gonna just be completely honest if i was her husband and i didn't have a kid with her i'd probably kick her to the curb because this is the same kind of woman that's gonna go ride some baloney pony and then say it's because you didn't give me enough attention and for the guy that's just trying to do the right thing trying to provide for his family i hope that this woman doesn't divorce you and take half of everything you own because she's unhappy in her marriage till next time if it's an issue, we gon' solve them. I got 99 problems. I can go through by myself. You know I'm rockin' with you. You.